Alright guys, welcome to set 13 of Let's Play Chrono Cross. Uh, before I get started, I want to say a few things quickly. Um, at the end of this set, there's going to be a new um, uh, title card. It started with the Legend of Dragoon Let's Play uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, I just got done recording it, actually, but um, besides the point. Um, uh, all Chrono Cross Let's Plays up to this point are actually going to have it, so I'm just going to make mention of it right now. Um, even though it's kind of pointless. It's something new, and if you guys like it, feel free to tell me. Um, I didn't, I'm kind of irritated how fuzzy it came out just due to the fact of my freaking um, editing software, so, meh, I guess it's the best I can do for now. I will try my best to fix it later on. Anywho, um, let's get to this game. <laughs> Off screen, I did not much, really. Um, I did create a few uh, prism stuff, I believe a few anyway. Um, I know I created um, Kid's Prism Dagger, which is just freaking awesome. Um, so she's she and Stina, I believe, are the only characters that have a Prism level weapon. I believe I made one. Ooh, excuse me, one for Surge as well. His uh, no, I didn't. Okay, uh, I didn't make anyone Prism shit. What the fuck? Hmm, bizarre. Because when I made at least one more. Huh. Maybe someone has something equipped I don't remember. Yeah, well. <clears throat> Anywho, we're going to be fighting the Creel Sphinx. <clears throat> now, the Creel Sphinx is actually pretty interesting. Um, if you... Eh, I'll get, we'll get into the battle and I'll explain it. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. Um, I did do a few summons, in case you couldn't tell my summon level. That's due to me getting enough parts to make the Prism Dagger. Looks like the dragon does not exist in this world. <clears throat> but, Stina, what's that thing on the ledge up there? I don't think we've ever seen a moss like that before. Let those who disturb the peace of the land be punished. It's coming down! So this is the Creo Sphinx. Um, <laughs> the Creo Sphinx is a very interesting creature. Um, let me see if I get that. There we go. Okay. Hey, buddy! How you doing? <laughs> Quid me thus. I am the Creo Sphinx, and thou hast trespassed on my domain. What must thou turmoil to this land being bring? Or, why must thou turmoil to this land bring? Now turmoil unto thee I give, depending on how much thee meet this trial thou might be allowed to alive here leave. However, this this be an island to which no man has visited for aeons, and the Creo Sphinx has grown quite bored. If thou passest the courage to match thy wits to mine, thy sins may be forgiven when thou answer correctly my question. Question 6. Now riddle me this. Okay, so the Creo Sphinx, if you guard for a little bit, will actually uh, give you a riddle. And the riddle is the answer to the riddle is a color. It's going to be one of the six elements. Now, the order of the elements is actually very important because it's involved in an ending. But it is also the quickest way of being the Creo Sphinx. You can do it, and you'll win. You'll gain nothing from it. Now, if you want to get the really cool shit, you have to attack it and kill it. Um, if you do so, you gain an item called Sunglasses. I mentioned this a, few, uh, a sec while ago. Uh, the Sunglasses increase all attack power by 20 to 50% also increases consumable healing rate. As an example, tablets heal for 37 instead of the usual however much it is. I don't remember. <clears throat> so Creo Sphinx is a very powerful creature. It uses high level uh, elements such as uh, earthquakes, thunderstorms. It's a great place to grind out for those. Um, also, it's also yellow innate, absorbs yellow. The best way to beat this creature quickly is to have um, Glenn with the Iron Lanza and attack him while he has the yellow plate equipped. Uh, this will make him immune to the uh, Creo Sphinx's attacks, and that's about it. Um, also, if you steal from him, you have a chance of getting a rainbow shell. Nine times out of ten, though, you'll probably get a damage from So, we're going to kill the Creo Sphinx. It's going to take a while because it has 13,000 HP. 
Also, it is a matter type creature. Quid est, quid nam tu hominis est. Thou sayest thou canst answer my question. Answer my question, malfactum. Then what have I to do with thee? Be gone from my sight, Abby and Abby and Madame Ren. Okay. Basically, if you were to defend multiple times, your entire list of uh, elements will be filled. So yeah, um, depending how long this takes, I may just not record the battle because it takes a while. Um, I mentioned a few seconds ago that the Creel Sphinx is a matter-type creature. Now why that's important is very simple. Um, there's thunderstorm. <laughs> um, one of the creatures that gets damaged by the Masamune and gets the constant crit is matter creatures. So, I can deal this fucker a lot of damage by hit. See? It'd be much more damage if I was a green nate, but eh, okay, no. So yeah, I'm just not gonna bother resurrecting Kitterstein because it's kinda pointless. Um, they won't get back up. So I or if they won't do any they won't do any good. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, stop the recording, and I'm going to fight the Crew of Sphinx off screen. Like I said, it takes a long fucking time to get him dead. So, I don't want to bore the hell out of you guys. I have a spray. Fuck. What does that do again? Oh well. Anyway guys, um, I'll be right back once I uh, kill the Crew of Sphinx. I'll be in the ending cutscene, so. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, and I'm back. Man, that took a lot of time. Um, I almost died at the end, too. Um, if, it, if he did not cast um, Thunderstorm at the end, I would have died. I was at 23 health, like, ah, Thunderstorm. Thank you. Anyway, impressive. Never thought I'd be, uh, be human, it'd be human, ah. Never thought I'd there'd be humans who could defeat the Creole Sphinx by force alone. The way of life intrigues me, to conquer all obstacles with brawn rather than by brain. But I warn ye, woe shall surely befall one such as thee. Veil. Vale. I really do like the Creole Sphinx's design. Um, it mostly comes from my fa the fact that I love uh, Greek mythology. Or, not Greek, well, Greek, yeah. Greek and Egyptian mythology, where the Sphinxes are very prominent. So I really love that. <laughs> So awesome. Alrighty then. Sorry, hold on a second. Let's scroll up a bit. Okay. Yup. Sunglasses. I did steal from him, by the way, but I only got a dance tonight. Tried to, but uh. Yeah. Okay then. So we got the sunglasses. So let's equip our stone mail again. Moon glasses. I can equip sunglasses as well. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Increases all damage done by increases the damage done by all attack all kinds of of attacks you make on your enemies. Let's give her the moon glasses because she's kind of uh, weak. So yeah, like, I really wish I could should do the battle, but, um, the Creole Sphinx battle ended up taking about, probably almost 20 to 30 minutes, and I know I've had some battles where I still let that in, but it's, I would have been quiet the entire time, and it, it would have been dull as all hell, other than seeing me, you know, fight the fucking thing. So, that's the reason why I didn't show it. Anywho, elements. No, no, no. No? I must switch your shit around. Move. Give you that, and put that over that. Chrono Cross is one of those elements where it just does not matter where you put it. It's like the, um,. Uh, full revival. It's like, yeah, it's nice to have it at that spot, but you can put it at the f number one spot, and it would not matter in the slightest. 
But we have Sungrass now. Now Surge's attacks are even more deadly against enemies. I was just going to check to see what uh, I can spend those into. Not going to, but hmm. Here we go. Pardon me. So now we're going to go stop by the Viper Manor. So my mind kind of went blank there for a second. And it's in this world too. Perfect. Bonaba. We will need to have uh, Norse in our party though, because of course we're going to be going through. Viper Manor. So we need her, or him, in our party. God damn it. See, so yeah, another good advice to uh, fighting the Creo Sphinx, um, equip a yellow brooch. That way you don't get sprained. Or any of the other yellow st status effects. So let's take a quick peek at that, uh, dismantle of this, these glasses. Like I said, I'm not going to, but kind of has to know what they can become. Iron Mithril Danginite. Both of them. That's fascinating. I have party teleporter. Where's no? There he is. Okay then. I should have pre-made another character. Damn it. I'm gonna do that real quickly. Um, there is an upcoming boss fight that can only be hurt by red innates. Um, I don't mean by red nate attacks, I mean red nate elements entirely. I think red nate people can hurt them as well, but, eh, it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to have Draggy join us, and give him some, uh, spells. Let's give me a second while I load him up. It's a shame I don't have any volcanoes or infernos that I can get him as well. Uh, what can you do? Alright. This is also one of the very easy uh, ways you can summon uh, um, Salamander or Red Wolf. I'm also going to equip Surge with you as well. Well, we have some red uh, options with them. Oops. There we go. Wait a second. There's Draggy. I was on him, wasn't I? Damn it! Did I give him any Infernos? I did, okay. Onwards! I'll put Dragon back into, our, into my party, or put him into my party once we get there. And I'll sleep him once we get there as well. Technically, I should have Starkey in my party, now that I think about it. Oh, well. Because I didn't need, um, Norse with me. So I'm gonna uh, unequip Starkey, or unequip, uh, all the zombies I just gave to Draggy and equip them to Starkey. Uh, we need Starkey for the upcoming parts, so, yeah. Uh, this way. Remember when we woke up, uh, when Kid woke up, they mentioned that we need to go talk to, um, Luca, because she has something for us. Lucia, because she has something for Kid. Alright, I'm going to point something out quickly before we start this conversation. Pay close attention to her about where Surge is standing. You'll see something interesting there. Or you should. I have been vaping, kid. There's something I want to give you. Huh? Me? I was told to give it to you to you when the time was right. Was right. Was right. It's for you. From Luca. You knew Luca? Here. My dear kid, how are you doing? I wonder how old you are as you read this letter. Did they really call her kid? 
Perhaps you matured into a beautiful woman raising a happy family by now. I still to talk to you in person when you're old enough, but just in case something happens, I'm writing my feelings down on paper and leaving it with Lucia. Perhaps you already know, or perhaps you, you yourself are caught up, are, are now caught up in some historic crisis as a result of all this, but anyway. A long time ago, we, my friends and I that is, changed the future in order to save our planet from being devoured by Lavos, a monster from some unknown planet. We still feel proud, we still feel proud of, our, of the role we played in saving our world, and in how we were able, so freely able to change the flow of time. But sometimes I think of the darker side of what we did, what has become of the future that was once supposed to exist, to have existed. How did the time that now is no longer allowed to exist, or where did it go? It's true that, thanks to our altering the flow of history, we're able to save so many lives and prevent so, many sa so much sadness and suffering. When we think of it, we also caused the deaths of so many that, we were, that were meant to have come into existence in the timeline we destroyed, and also caused new sadness and suffering further along in the new future we created. That's why I worry that someone might seek revenge on us for what we did. I've had a constant dread in my heart that someone in our new future will travel back in time, just like we did, and try and kill or capture my friends and me. So, even if something dreadful does befall me, kid, know that there was meant uh, this, uh, <laughs> that what was meant to happen will happen, and that I was always prepared for the worst. Oh, but don't don't you dare think the great Luca is going to go down without a fight. I've got a reputation to uphold. Whatever lies waiting for us around the, cor the next corner, got, uh, better watch out, because it's going to find a pretty mean counter counterattack coming its way. Kid, when I think of you, I remember someone I once met a long, long time ago in the distant past. Heh, <laughs> but she was the complete opposite of you in this timeline. So quiet and gentle. Someday I'll also tell you about her, when you are ready to know your real name and heritage. I'm not the slightest bit worried that you about that about you, kid. I know that no matter what happens, he will always be looking out for you. Or perhaps he has already found you and is there by your side as you read this. If so, hello, Janos. Please take care of my little sister for me. There's so much more I want to tell you, but I have to leave before another time. Don't worry, everything is okay. We'll overcome whatever whatever woes may, may occur. That's for certain. Later, when you're all grown up, I'll come visit you and we'll talk over tea. I look forward to that day. Well, anyway, kid, until we meet again. Forever and ever your friend, no matter which time it is, sincerely, yours sincerely, Luca Ashtier. P.S. Cut out the tomboy act. Believe me, you'll become a beautiful young lady one day, or my name isn't Luca the Great. <laughs> oh, Luca. Okay, before this continues on, I'm going to point it out. <clears throat> um, Damn you, kid. Sorry, but I'd like to uh, be alone for a while. All right, I'm going to pause it once it gets there. There we go. Okay. Directly behind Surge, you can see a black circle. It looks like a shadow of someone who's supposed to be standing there. Um, the belief is that that is Janos, who, um, if you played Chrono Trigger, spoiler warning, um, I'm going to pause this once this is over. If you haven't played Chrono Trigger or haven't seen my Let's Play on it yet, go check it out. The Let's Play isn't up yet. The, at the, the Let's Play itself isn't up at the time of this upload, but it will be immediately afterwards. I'm going to start working on it. Anywho. The shadow directly behind Surge is believed to be a ejected uh, concept that they were going to put in, but this made pass this made it past the um, uh, scrutiny test, I guess, is a good way of putting it, when they were um, making the game. They just forgot to remove it. Um, the belief is that the shadow is actually Janos or Magus, just hiding in the shadow, keeping an eye on her. Now, remember, I told you that Guile was supposed to be Magus in disguise. The belief was that Guile, or Magus took on the disguise of Guile to watch over Kid. That was the big reveal with McGill in um, 
uh, Radical Dreamers. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much a fan theory by now, but still pretty cool. I can't believe you, sis. You're the one who always laughed about how there's nothing definite or certain in this world. Sis. Rainbow Shell. So yeah, that is um, a pretty interesting idea. I like the idea a lot. Um, I really do wish that they uh, kept it in. It would have been uh, nice to have uh, seen that conclusion of the storyline. But, yeah. Also, the uh, person she was referring to way in the past was Shala Zeal. That is uh, pretty interesting in my opinion. <clears throat> Alright then. Enough of that annoying shite. Alright, let us teleport in Starkey, because we need him for the upcoming part. Let's scroll down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think it's the first time I've used Starkey in this game. So I was trying to think of, uh, were there any characters I've actually haven't used at all in this game? And I was like, yeah, there's plenty. Equip. Let me, uh, do this again. I'll reallocate Surge with his proper abilities in a bit. This is mostly just to fill out the space so I have enough spells to cast to do damage as a fucker. I, I, I insult this guy a lot because it's a really annoying battle, but honestly, I really, really wish they included more of, the, of this kind. Enemies that can only be damaged by a certain element and shit like that. It's a really cool idea. They should have stuck with it. And burst. Alright. Now let's give him some honor or glories. Let's also save, because saving is good. Alright, so I'm trying to make sure which one I saved over. So I'm saving over links, gotcha. Woo! So we may be seeing the summon Salamander or Red Wolf in this battle. Probably both. If he survives the first summon. <laughs> we shall see. Alright then, let's go. Now there are two rainbow shells down here, so we are going to be collecting those fuckers. Pardon moi, excusez moi. There's a chest up there, so let's grab that. Also, um,. Sprig is so close to mastering all of her transformations. She's just missing the uh, Acacia Dragoon transformation, the uh, whoa, uh, hidden stuff, the hidden characters, the three of them, and if you know your Chrono, uh, your Chrono Trigger lore, or Chrono Cross lore, whichever one you prefer, uh, you'll know who they are. But, that's going to be a little bit later on. Sneak around. But, um, other than that, all, the, all that's left really is to get uh, the Acacia Warrior, the, the Acacia Dragoons, the um, one enemy over in the final dungeon, in Terra Tower, and those three, really, that's all it is. Alrighty then, I love the spaceship. Okay, so the goal basically is just to get our uh, stats up to max. Like I said, as you can see, nothing will hurt him other than red attacks. Um, also, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think red innate will deal damage either. It has to be a element. But we'll find out in a second with Kid. Nope, no damage. Need a little stuck. His laser gun. 
Come on. Alright, so I'm trying to get this up to where I can, uh, very easily get Kid to summon, uh, Salamander. Everyone's at level 8, for the most part, except for Surge. Now he is. Everyone block. Alright, he's using a spell. Perfect. Okay, um... How do I want to do this? One, two, three. Perfect. Fireball! Try to use the lowest common denominator spell to get this done. It'll make the uh, upcoming part a lot easier. Except for your other characters. These work fine. Come on, good damage. Meh. Come back, come back. There we go. Inferno. Now I can choose either to summon Red Wolf or Salamander. Salamander will probably kill him in one hit. And Red Wolf will probably do a lot of damage. But I'm going to try Salamander, just because it's the highest level one. Yeah, it's here. Use Salamander's breath to incinerate foes. Yeah! <laughs> bye bye. Did I get the weird, the weird angle one? I did! <laughs> there are two angles for the summon. Hold on. One where you get that close-up where it just sort of makes his nose elongated. One hit kill, like I said. And another one where it's a lot more um, proper. So it's kind of weird. Right, that was Royal Jelly. Hold on a sec. How much HP did he have? Oh, shit. He had uh, six, uh, 1,657 HP. You could have stolen a Jin Ring from him or an Earring of Light. The Jin Ring was a lot of... Um, the Sky Jin Ring was, uh, the rare steel. Not that it matters. Nice. And you're gonna get a resistance belt regardless of what you do. Wow! Stucky's ship is in this, uh, in this world is not broken. Or, Stucky's ship in this world not broken. Stucky, I'm happy. Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Stucky ship creates a special force field. Stucky think in other world, uh, in other world, Stucky ship is in pieces, and the parts are buried underground but still working. Yay! It opened. Yeah, everything is in order. The navigation uh, system is operational. Stucky's bed is nice and cozy, too. Nice little bed. Can this take us to Terra Tower? The ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Oh, bullshit. There's plenty of room. Then what do we do? Leave it to me. Whee! The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh, yeah, that! Hmm. Maybe we can use this? Boop. Stucky may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Stucky will come back later. Easy does it. What's this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly the Terra Tower easy. All we need to do is now is a... All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside Chronopolis. Alrighty. Alright, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. <clears throat> let's see. 